Today we're going to go ahead and focus on some epoxy primer techniques. Now, when I say techniques, what I'm talking about is prepping your epoxy primer sealer for actual sandable 2K primer. And to do this, it takes uh, a few quick lessons to learn how to do it because epoxy primer is non-sandable. And when I say non-sandable, it's not supposed to be sanded. Um, when you do sand it, what happens is your paper will gum up, you'll get deep scratches, you'll get uh, gouges in it, and it will be very imperfected. So epoxy primer, once again, I'm going to tell you, is a not a non it's a non-sandable primer. It's not meant to be sanded. What it is, it's a sealer to protect your bare metal and also a sealer to protect your primer before you paint, if that makes any sense. So I'm going to take you through a little step, and it's real quick and easy, how to prep epoxy primer after you seal your vehicle uh, to protect it before you put your 2K primer on it, which is a sandable primer. Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Here's the car we're talking about. It's a 1977 Vega, 76, I'm sorry. And as you can see, I've done all the bodywork, but under the bodywork, you can see that the car has some primer on it. That is epoxy primer. Now, what we've done is I had this car soda blasted, and if you look at the rear deck lid here, you can see this has been soda blasted. And what soda blasted is, uh, they have removed all of the paint without removing the factory etching off of the vehicle. Um, once this is down to bare metal like this, it has to be prepped and all the soda has to be taken off properly and that's another day and another story, but I wanted to show you what we did to this car right here. So once I prepped it up and I got all the bare metal cleaned off after soda blasting, I went ahead and I put two coats of epoxy primer on it. Now, the reason I did that is to seal it so moisture wouldn't get to it and the car wouldn't start surface rusting. Even though it still has the factory uh, etching on it, we did a lot of work on the top of this, and you can see that. Uh, there was a lot of real, real super heavy uh, rust on the car, super heavy surface rust that we had to get rid of, and it looks like it's still on there, but it's not. It has been removed. What you're looking at is the stains from the vinegar water treatment that I used on it. And that's another lesson that I would have to go into. But after I went ahead and cleaned all the metal off and properly uh, prepared it, I went ahead and put my epoxy primer on it. Now, the problem you have is you have to do body work to the vehicle. Because remember, this is only a sealer to protect the vehicle while we're working on it. So what I did is I removed all of the epoxy primer in the areas that I did body work to. You can see where the primer has been removed in all the areas. But the rest of the vehicle is still in epoxy primer. And before we put our 2K sandable primer on that, that has to be prepped up. And you can see the difference here in the door and the fender. Of this is prepped. I just got done prepping this up. And this is not. Um, if you don't prep it up the way that I show you, you're going to have a stipulation or a chance that your primer will not adhere to the vehicle and it's going to turn out to be a very, very big mess. So to prep up our epoxy primer properly so we can go ahead and apply our sandable primer, I'm going to mention it again. Um, epoxy primer is not a primer that is sandable. It is a sealer. That is it. All it is is a sealer. And you have to prep it up 
in, when you're in this stage, you have to prep it so you can go ahead and move forward uh, into painting your vehicle. So if you have sealed your bare metal car with epoxy primer, you're going to go back and do the bodywork, remove the epoxy primer off of the vehicle, and then do your bodywork like you're looking at on this vehicle right here. And then once that's done, we need to go back and prep the rest of the epoxy primer. Now, I did mention this is a non-sandable primer, and if you try to sand this, it's going to gum the paper up, and there's only one way to prep this primer up the right way, and that's using a DA sander. This is a dual-action sander at the highest speed that you can use it at. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our sandpaper, and we're not going to use 80 grit. We're going to use 180, all right? We're going to use 180 grit sandpaper, and then what we'll do is we'll go over the whole surface of the area that we are going to prime, which is basically this whole car. But what we want to do is take that DA sander and you want to move it very vigorously and quick with a nice even motion to cover all the surfaces. Let me show you what we're talking about here. So if you look around the areas that I did the bodywork, you can see that's already sanded. But over here in this area, you can see that that is untouched epoxy primer. What I'll do is I'm going to turn my DA sander speed all the way up as high as it'll go, and then we're going to go ahead and sand that down to give it a rough surface so our 2K primer will stick to it. saw is I took my DA sander moving it very vigorously and very fast I want to show you what happens when you sand epoxy primer and what's going to be the kicker in your ass when you try to sand it um, if you look at the paper right here you can see right there there's a gumball I call those gumballs and what that is all right that's epoxy primer that has built up in one area of the sandpaper let me try to get a there you go, right there. That's your epoxy primer, all right? And what happens is it built up on the paper, and if you continue to sand with that piece of paper, it's going to put gouges and swirl marks in your epoxy primer. Remember, again, epoxy primer is not designed to be sanded. All we're doing is roughing the surface up to get the surface so we can apply our 2K sandable primer to finish this job. So after that little use, I'll go ahead and take that sandpaper, and once again, I want to show it to you. You can see how it gums up, and it is not a sandable primer. And if you use wet sandpaper, it will be worse. Wet sandpaper gums up even worse than dry sandpaper. The trick to sanding epoxy primer and getting it prepped for uh, uh, sandable primer is to use a DA sander, 180 grit, at the highest speed you can and keep your DA sander continuously moving. Once you start seeing swirl marks in your primer job, you can see them right in this area here. We come over here, you can see them over here. Once you start seeing those little swirl marks, you want to stop immediately and change your paper. What you want is a nice clean surface just like this right here, all right? You can see right here where the uh, primer was building up on the sandpaper, but this is a prepped area. I have now prepped this door ready for sandable primer. I'm going to go over it right here one more time. It looks like it's a little rough in this area for some reason, and that's because I went over it with 80 grit DA, and you can see the difference. Um, I did go over that with 80 grit because I had a pencil mark here and we don't want no pencil lead on our primer when we reprime it. Um, and the reason I did that, I was using the 80 grit over here, so I went ahead and got that, but I will feather this out using my 180 grit. But that's how you prep epoxy primer so you can put 2K primer on top of it. Um, do not ever 
put a primer on top of epoxy primer without prepping it up some way, some sort, some other. Um, you don't know how long your car's been sitting around and you don't know what kind of chemicals or, or deterioration has been caused in the uh, amount of time that it's been sitting around. It's always important to make sure that you prep it properly before applying anything. The only time epoxy primer is good to spray over without prepping it is right before you apply uh, paint. And the only reason you would use epoxy primer at that time is to seal uh, bare metal spots that you sanded through or you want to just seal the whole primer job before you paint it. But uh, if you're going to go ahead and seal your car that is bare metal so you can work on it without worrying about rusting or, or, or any other deterioration problems toward the metal, it has to be prepped up just the way I showed you using your DA sander just like this right here with 180 grit dry at the highest speed possible continuously moving it around and not stopping in one place. Don't worry about feathering anything out. Just get it roughed up just so your primer will stick. This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete, showing you and telling you quick lessons on actions that can be taken now to prevent problems in the future. We'll see you later. Do it right, do it right, because if you're not doing it right, you definitely aren't doing it at all. Thanks for watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.